What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Undaunted Celebration that will be starting here this week in the Elder Scrolls Online. Before I get into all the details, I'm sure most of you have noticed I rebranded the channel. Rebranded the channel and my social media to Grave Gaming. Something I've been wanting to do for a while. Just finally kind of got around to it. Nothing besides the names going to change on the channel. All the content's going to be the same. Playing a lot of different games, uploading a lot of different content. So it might be named different or look a little bit different, but everything else is going to be the same. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about that. Now, when it comes to the Undaunted event, that will be st it will be starting Thursday, September the 8th at 10 a.m. Eastern and running until September the 20th at 10 a.m. Eastern. You can start the quest, of course, from the glory of the Undaunted, which, of course, you will be able to get for free in the Crown Store. Or you can just go into a dale through Activity Finder or through the Overland entrance. This is a PvE event that will involve tickets and everything, kind of like your normal uh, PvE events. You also have, you know, the event vendor, so you can go buy some different items from there. But when it comes to what you get or how you do uh, kind of the event in general, you will get one glorious undaunted reward box each day after you have beaten the final boss of a dungeon. So on your uh, the first time you play a dungeon each day, you beat that final boss, you will get a glorious undaunted reward box. After that, each dungeon you play, you will get just a normal undaunted reward box after you beat the final boss. So you'll get your normal rewards plus a undaunted box every time you complete a dungeon but just on the first dungeon of each day you will get a glorious box these boxes can contain a lot of different things so let's go ahead and kind of go over what we can expect to get from these boxes both versions of the undaunted reward boxes have a guaranteed chance to drop an item set piece from the dungeon you just completed and also both versions of the undaunted reward box uh, include a guaranteed chance to drop one of the following items a random motif uh, style page from Mazatun. Uh, skill, uh, Silken Ring, Blood Forge, Scale Collar, Fang Lair, Huntsman, Silver Dawn, uh, Moon Gray Fane, Stags of Zen, Ice Reach, Prayer's Watch, Thorn Legion, Hazardous Alchemy, True Sworn, Waking Flame, Crimson Oath, Silver Rose, Ascendant Order, or Dread Cell. Also, you have a chance to get a thousand gold, a Undaunted Key, a Crown Repair Kit, or Riding Lessons. In addition to the above, a glorious Undaunted Reward Box includes the chance of dropping Opal monster weapon styles for Veldareth, Elibris, Troll King, Engine Garden, uh, Engine Guardian, excuse me, Bloodspawn, or Chokethorn. You can also earn an additional Undaunted Reward Box each day by completing the daily Undaunted Dell quest, uh, which you can get, of course, at the Undaunted Enclave. The Opal monster mask style pages during the event, defeating and looting a specific dungeon final boss on veteran hard mode difficulty provides a greater chance to receive associated Opal monster style mask pages of course the mask style pages and the dungeons you can find them with will be things like a libris of course in crypto hearts one troll king and blessed crucible blood spawn and spindle clutch two engine guardian and dark shade caverns two choke thorn and elden hollow one and veldereth and cradle of shadows also if you want to if you already own the ordinary version of the monster shoulder style you may also purchase the opal version of that style from the undaunted vendors using undaunted keys you have collected throughout the event. The specific opal style pages can be purchased for 50 keys, while the coffer, which kind of has a random chance, can be obtained for 25 keys. Now when it comes to the event vendor, you can hold up to 12 tickets like always, so that has not changed, so make sure that you don't have 12 tickets. Throughout the event, you can earn two tickets uh, the first time you defeat and loot a final dungeon boss each day. So you'll be able to obtain two tickets each day throughout the event. Like I said, just remember, if you already have some tickets, make sure you don't have over 12 or you're going to start losing tickets because you cannot hold on to more than 12. You can spend your hard-earned tickets at, of course, the event, event vendor. All three Soul, Fire, Dragon, Illusion Pet Fragments will be available. The first two Dragon Fall Paladin Costume Fragments will be available. Of course, the Bound Style pages from the following Opal Weapons like Veldereth will be available. Uh, of course, that's going to be Mask, Shoulders, and weapon, Weapons for Veldereth. Also, you can get group repair kits and the companion guild commendations. Also, additionally, the uh, event vendor will have the following items. Uh, you will be able to get you know, some of the feathers for the Endricks and Endrick berries and things like that if you're still looking to you know, get the Endrick mounts. If, you're not had, if you had not participated in, in the event, events in the past or if you had not played the Elder Scrolls when the Endricks were available. So this is going to be a pretty fun event, especially for players that like to, you know, PvE, like to do dungeons, things like that. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you're looking forward to this event. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.